What's up everybody, I'm Z-Wade, the Z-Wade and Z-Wade Photo, and you may remember this video here where I was talking about the silliest lenses for your Nikon ZFC. Well, in this episode, I want to flip that and go into my favorite lenses for the Nikon ZFC. First up is the tail of two lenses. Both of these lenses are kit options for the Nikon ZFC. One, which is this uh, 16 to 50 F3.563. And you can also get the 28 millimeter F2.8 SE. The reason I bring this up is because if you're shopping for a Nikon ZFC, I would not recommend the 16 to 50 3563 if you have a choice. And that is because this is an incredibly awesome, way underpriced, but you know, just so much fun to use lens. The Nikon ZFC kit comes with the SE version. There is a non SE version that is all black. It does not have a retro look. It looks like all of the other Z mount lenses and it, it they're optically the same. And so it doesn't matter. This is just the one that came with the Nikon ZFC. If you saw this older video right here, I mentioned that this lens with the Nikon ZFC is a match made in heaven, right? It fits perfectly on the front of the ZFC. It's not scary at all to hold this without the L grip. And it, you know, 28 millimeters just does, it does a lot of stuff. It's a perfect everyday lens. It's a great street photography lens. It's great if you wanna do some scenic portraits. F 2.8 is kind of restrictive for a prime, but something else to be said about this, if you're a fan of manual focus, that ring feels fantastic. I should mention also that with the Nikon ZFC being a crop, sensor uh, with a crop factor 1.5. The 28 millimeter comes out to 42 millimeters, which is kind of just an unsung hero of a focal length. 40 millimeters is great. It used to be really, really common. Not so much anymore, and that's a shame. Speaking of 40-ish millimeter, my next favorite lens for the Nikon ZFC is the Nikkor Z 40 millimeter F2. It performs ever bit as good as a S-line couple thousand dollar lens, maybe not as tack sharp, but it's sharp, it's lightning fast on the focus. The Nikon ZFC being a crop sensor camera with a 1.5 crop factor makes the 40 millimeter F2 a 60 millimeter, which is great for portraits. And this will focus close enough that you can do portraits here, you can do portraits here, you can step back a little bit and do full body portraits, it doesn't matter. F2 is gonna give you some nice bokeh, uh, you could also just kind of carry this around everywhere if you like. 60 is a little bit long for every day walking around or street photography. You'll love the black and white potential that this lens has as well as color images. It just, it looks great all around. Super, super affordable and just, you just need this. Whether you have a Nikon ZFC or a full frame and you're still watching this video, get this lens. It's a full frame lens. 60 on the ZFC, 40 on a full frame. This lens is way too cheap not to own, and I absolutely love it on the Nikon ZFC. I could talk about this lens all day, but let's see how it feels. It feels great. It is basically the same size and weight as the 28 millimeter F 2.8, and I just own both of them. You know, two different things. 20 millimeter difference will get a couple of different kinds of jobs done. It feels great without the L grip, and you can, I mean, it's just perfectly balanced. I mean, look at that. That looks great. I do not have in front of me the 50 millimeter F 1.8 S, but if you want to spend a little bit more on a lens, that lens is, ah, uh, it's, it's juicy. Okay. It's underpriced. That lens is fantastic. The 50 millimeter I do have that I think is fantastic on the ZFC, bit of a Swiss army knife of a lens, a little bit slow perhaps, but this lens is fantastic for the ZFC, although not my favorite on full frame. This is the Nikkor Z MC 50 millimeter F 2.8. This is a macro lens, it's not an S line. It does have a metal mount and that's fantastic. I like this better on the ZFC than I do on my full frame cameras. If you want one lens that can do a lot of stuff for you, such as portraits or macro, this lens on the crop sensor of the Nikon ZFC is 75 millimeters, which isn't the best for macro, perhaps. Uh, you know, every millimeter counts in macro, especially if you're doing bugs and insects and things. But if you're not, it's totally fine. It feels great on the end of the camera. It doesn't look stupid. It's still fairly low profile. And this lens, although a little bit slow, 
great results. Looks good in black and white. Has pretty good color rendition. Not the best in the lineup, but it's absolutely okay. You can do color enhancement and post-processing. It's totally fine. I'm kind of a snob, I guess, and so <laughs> whatever. But this is a great combo for your Nikon ZFC. However, the final lens of this video may surprise you, but the qualities that this lens has make it totally appropriate for the Nikon ZFC. I give you the Nikkor Z MC 105 f2.8 macro lens. Now, I've definitely had some lenses that are just as big as this lens in the silliest lenses for your Nikon ZFC video, but this lens is lightweight. And it's also not outrageously priced. This lens is underpriced still. To this day, it launched at $9.99. I thought it was underpriced then. It's gone up about $50. It's still underpriced. This lens does too many things to be that cheap. And if you pay $1,000 for a ZFC and you love macro photography, I wouldn't probably bother with the 50 millimeter and I would just get this. This 105 MC f2.8 is noticeably a finer lens than the 50 millimeter. They launched at the same time. I got this one first. I would not relinquish this lens over my dead body. And yes, I feel that way if the Nikon ZFC was my only camera. I would not get rid of this lens if I had it. Shockingly, it does not feel stupid on the end of the ZFC without the L grip. Granted, if doesn't feel as good as these other ones because it is a little longer, but it's not so heavy that it feels scary on the front of the ZFC. And you know, it's it does it sticks out kind of crazy, but it's whatever. If you love macro photography, oh man, you'll love, love this lens if you don't have it already. Now on the ZFC being a 1.5 crop factor, that makes this macro lens over 150 millimeters, which is pretty awesome, right? That's a nice that's a nice benefit to have. 105 is is perfectly fine on the full frame cameras, but I mean, if you're doing insects, 150 is just that much better. Now, if portraits are your thing, it's definitely better on a full frame camera. But one of my favorite portrait lenses of all time was a 180 millimeter, right? The the D version in in back in the DSLR days. And so 150 I'm telling you, you get some nice backgrounds and some good compression with like telephoto style portraits, okay? And so portraits look great with this combination. Let's be honest, if portraits aren't 100% your thing, I wouldn't spring a, a, over $1,000 for this <laughs> for your ZFC. But if you mostly like doing like flower photography or macro photography or things like that, product photography, that kind of thing, and you also like to do portraits occasionally, yeah, then I, I would actually probably buy this first if that's your prerogative. So now we've done the silliest lenses for your Nikon ZFC and we have done my favorite lenses for the Nikon ZFC. Let me know in the comments what your favorite lens for the Nikon ZFC is. And if you don't have a Nikon ZFC, let me know in the comments what your favorite lens is for the Nikon Z50 or the Z30.